Okay, basics of tornadoes. Uh, so this is how we start. I got a couple of rigid bodies in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another one by bringing in an asset that has, or a mesh that has collision. So I can right click, say convert to K actor. Another thing of note is inside here in the mesh editor, which, come on man. In here in a body setup, this mass scale, this is how you make things heavier or lighter. The 81 is ridiculous. I'm going to make it 2 for this one. That should do. Our happy new rigid body. We're going to come over here, content browser, actor classes, physics. And for now, we're going to use RB, cylindrical force actor. It stands for rigid body. It affects rigid bodies. So we're going to slip that in there. And we're going to hit F4 and do some of the settings here. Slip it up a little bit. Okay, see how it's cylindrical shape? That's basically the edge of the tornado. I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make it, uh, I don't know, 420. I'm going to make it taller. Ooh, yeah, that's right. The rigid body one has top and bottom. Make that one then, make the height 666. Now the radial strength, this makes things, if you hit minus, that will suck things into it. Uh, rotation, that one's pretty obvious, and so is lift. You'll have to play with these numbers yourselves to get it figured out with all your... But anyway, force active, that's the last important thing. Place it real. Okay. I'm going to set up a quick Kismet sequence here. Okay, I just to clarify, this is all I did here. I set up a, a simple Kismet so it won't start until I st step on the trigger. So yeah, that wasn't very impressive at all, was it? Luckily, I think we can do a thing or two about it. Start making a bunch more of these and adjust some of the figures. I'm going to do that and pause the video for a second. Okay, I copied a few meshes, I changed a couple settings, and I scooched the start back a little bit. Let's try this again. Okay, I adjusted the settings again. So let's try it again. Okay, I've added a bunch more assets. I changed the settings, made it taller, made the top radius larger, adjust, fine tuned that a little bit. So let's see what this does. Change settings again. One more run. Okay, so there we have it. Hope you learned something or enjoyed watching at the very least. Uh, I'll likely post up more advanced concepts later. In the meantime, 
you know, thanks for watching. Check out my game Force of Nature. That's what I was working on all of this for. And have a good day.